Watch, I'll probably not be able to find it whenever I unfreeze it. So, you just leave it froze? so we got an eyeball here, so we're looking at a head. And to me, it looks more like a little bird beak. That's what we're looking at. And so the eye's hollow. We got some fluid in it, obviously, because it's an eye. Then let me see. I'm going to unfreeze it and see if we can get in. Uh, so this is chest, abdomen, and then see hey that's a boy see those two testicles oh <laughs> no i don't see that <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what that is it's it that or look because i don't i'm trying to figure out but we got two legs here so there's something right in between but you got a leg there and a leg there get your hurt sire <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah we're back in the head there so you can see that's a nose muzzle right there so, good size when he's, what, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. He's 80 centimeters. I have to check my chart, but he's right. far along. <clears throat> so, yeah, today we're uh, pretty sonogramming these ewe lambs. And, uh, oh, I don't know, there's 250 or 60 of them. <clears throat> um so far, the, the, we've had one, looks like we've had one that's not open. There's some others in the alleyway back there. We did those yesterday, but, um, so yeah. But Wyatt's uh, using the Reproflex, Reproscan Flex, and uh, really has, has a nice picture. Let's see if you know what you're looking for, anyway. Oh, it, it doesn't really take him very long, uh, especially on the bread ones. You can see that pretty quick. We'll say within a few seconds, but if they're, if he suspects they're open, it takes more time just to make sure and check things. Yeah, there's bread. And it seems like the rectal probe is uh, kind of easier for our working facilities to use. If you had the abdominal scanner, um, you could maybe sit down and open one of these side panels and get them under their belly. But uh, this is working pretty well, actually. But it's obvious you definitely got to know what you're looking at, and what you're looking for, and be able to almost use your imagination when you're looking at that screen. Well, we got done sonogramming all the ewe lambs, and uh, well, Wyatt got here. Oh, he got here about noon yesterday. We probably didn't get started till two o'clock, and. And we did uh, some yesterday there and then finished them up today. And uh, look like, well, this is a group here that's the uh, e-lambs that didn't breed the first time here. And I think it turned out there was maybe less than 11% that, that didn't breed. And that's not too bad. I remember, well, when I first uh, bought used from hopping brothers i bought their ewe lambs that didn't breed the first time first year and i bred them the second year and i bought i don't know around 200 of those 
um, I don't know how many years that would have been. Let's say it was four years ago. It could have been five. And now we've got over, I don't know. Well, if you count all the ewe lambs, we've got over um, almost 900, no, probably 1,000 sheep come out of those first ewe lambs that didn't breed the first time. And we've just kept back and kept back and kept back and uh, well we just keep keeping them back and that's why everybody wants to know do we have any for sale and, but we just keep finding a place to put them i don't know what we'll do with these uh ewe lambs here we may find a place to put them uh, we haven't really decided yet but uh some of them are pretty good size some of them are a little smaller than the others but like I said, that's, that's what we started with, and uh, they've done pretty good for us. So, but wound up a couple of days uh, keeping a lot busy here. So, hey, y'all have a good day.